here. She is a wench. Maybe the delay means it's gonna kick in any second. Just be fresh. Okay, yeah. So people are gonna comment over there and you can react to them. Which is uh, Yeah, okay, so that's how it works. Cool. Uh, yeah, but then it's, it's I can see. Yeah. Okay, my volume. By the way, where is it? Volume as in mute, unmute. Oh, uh, that it will be. to see it right now. Okay, now I leave it. Alright, now I'm going to back to the box. Okay, can we record? Is it recording? <laughs> it's live streaming, but I'm sure we can hit record as well. Yeah, it's just recording. Hi, it's Kate. Oh, okay. <laughs> when she hits stop, it'll say it's over here. Okay, good evening, good evening, um, Mzanti, all South Africans, um, wherever you are. My name is Owen Jovo. I am the founder of the Summer Song, partnered with SABC for three years. I had many people calling me, asking me about what is going on, uh, is the uh, song of the year going to take place this year or not and uh, am I going to stop Ukos FM from playing the song uh, or not uh, I then decided to come and give you guys the honest truth about uh, the actual uh, summer song so that you know um, I had I read the newspapers, Isolezwe uh, and Ilanga comments, uh, Daily Sun today, uh, Sunday is well, it's coming this weekend. So everybody is talking uh, because of I know the interest that people have in the, in the summer song. Um, I don't own any song of the year, it's for the people. I don't even vote, it's 
people that vote, uh, it's people that decide. Why I started the summer song was that I always wondered why the public is good when they take their money and go buy music. But when it comes to decision making, and then they don't get involved. And uh, that was tricky because these people vote with their pockets. I mean, really. Uh, this year has been very worse because of COVID-19. Uh, but people still were streaming music uh, online, digitally. Others were buying music physically. And uh, those are the people that really should be having a say in, in things that we do. But it's amazing. Everybody else is talking. And uh, without um, information, and they don't give the public the option. I will do what the public tells me to do. Because of this is your 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 competition. This is your interest. My interest is one is on the artists. I took AKA from nowhere, taught him everything he knows about sound engineering. Uh, my profession, by the way, I'm a sound engineer. I I'm a singer as well. Um, among others, Jamela, uh, Skonondo, those are the people. Uh, I remember the very same summer song, what it has done now. One of the artists that came out of the summer song was Master KG. The very same Master KG that has gone global now, that uh, is number one, not in, the, in South Africa, not in the continent, but in the world. He won his first ever award in South Africa from me. That was the summer song in 2018, beating King Monada. That was a big halabaloo. And uh, DJs were suspended by Tobel FM because um, they believed that uh, uh, the DJs did wrong by playing the song of, uh, of Master KG instead of King Monada. First of all, those were the two powerful boys from the North. And that they competed finally uh, with Prince KB uh, for the song of the year. And uh, I stood my, my, my ground because of, I, I don't take Crayola uh, for, for these things. People vote. And uh, my votes have been audited, and uh, the votes came out and say Master KG was the winner. What are those people saying now? Master KG was not known. He was a nobody when he won my, my summer song. Nobody. Uh, Master, uh, King Monada was big. Uh, but who's big now? It, it just shows that if you do things fairly, without fear or, or favor, uh, we can develop music. The first ever artist to win the summer song was Nati Mankai. Nati Mankai had just released a song, like people call it One Hit Wonder, No Vula. And it doesn't matter whether it was One Hit Wonder. You need only one song to make it big. Michael Jackson only had one album that made him. But he, 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 he is a billionaire with only one album. So why do you have to make 20 songs in order for, to, for you to be successful? One song can take you very far. So, so that's, that's my belief. And uh, I, I, I thought... When uh, and Nati Mankai uh, came on in 2015 at uh, doing wonders, that was a beautiful thing. Nombula was was a national anthem. 2016, Summer Song made history. A station that claims to broadcast for Zulu people was not selecting Zulu music uh, in their top ten because of they don't have a song of the in the top ten. They never selected. Soul Brothers or, 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 or Hashidim Klopp, they were not featuring in the top 10. They had a mentality that uh, 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 the song that must be played on the 31st must be the dance song. No, it must be the song that people choose. And uh, Rosa happened to be recognized in the top 10 because of, that's what I want to do. I don't interfere with the top 10 because of the radio station has the right to select the top 10 basing it on what they're basing on, be it the playlist or, or however that they choose. So when Mrosa was there, Mrosa was voted for and it became the first ever Maskande artist to win the song of the day. Does it make sense when you listen to Radio Zulu, which is of course, uh, and then we make history in 2018, uh, in, in the past 20 years, we never had a Maskande winning until I came there. And those, and remember what happened, the very same 2019, uh, I mean, uh, 2017, who ensured that there's no selection of the Mascani song in their, in their list of 2017. 
So for me, I'm not playing politics. I'm here to support music without fear and favor. I'm for the artist, I'm for the listeners. As a broadcaster myself, uh, I know what's going on in broadcasting. As a, for, as a listener myself, I know what is in, in, in going on in, in listening. I, I grew up listening to Kansas City myself. Lindy uh, Rantuli, uh, I listened to Double uh, VO, uh, I listened to um, uh, 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 a, a lot of Bojosa uh, came and, and then did wonders and, and for, for Mascan. So I, I grew up listening, of course, because of even though I was born in Joburg, I attended all my school life in KZN in, in, in Gozulatar. So, so my whole life then becomes Gozulatar. Um, uh, all these things, it, it's, it's painful to see them happening and to see people questioning why uh, things are done this way and not, and not that way. So for me, it was just an interest. So we made history when Rosa came. And then in 2017, um, they, SABC decided not to continue, even though the contract is saying from 2016 to 2019, the very same contract that they claim um, ended in 2019 was not even honored in 2017 and 2018. So um, basically the last um, time the contract was executed, actually making wonders, uh, even though we went on air for a week, um, it was when Mrosa, Mrosa won. So um, the agreement was when we don't do 2017, I was going to be reimbursed uh, in 2019. And uh, when the contract lapsed, and then SABC decided that no, they're not going to do that anymore. So I will fast forward and remind you what, 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 what then happened. Uh, first of all, Maybe let me go and clarify that. Many people said, um, of course, he has been doing the song of the year for, for the past many years. Uh, of course, he never had a song of the year. And they will never have a song of the year. Every time they attempt to do that, I'll take them to court. This is a concept, is an award. It's different between the top 10 and the award. Who calls it called a top 10? The very same thing that Ginji is doing over the weekend, the top 10. That's what who calls it is. They have a right to do that because of they basing that based on their playlist. But it's not an award. An award is something that I brought. So I listen to Kozi myself. I'm a listener to, to Kozi. When, I, when I'm insulted to Kozi by the presenters, I'm there listening. And uh, it's a shame that today the very same guys that were insulting me today, they're sitting with the letters of redundancy. Then we fired some of them. And that's how God works. Uh, if you don't understand something, I'm just a phone call away. And I appreciate many people that are calling me, um, asking me, oh, and what is going on? Um, are you going to have a song of the year? I appreciate all, I, any question. I, I, I'm here for the people. My bosses are the people. I'm talking to you now because of I, I am obliged to talk to you guys. I'm not doing you a favor by being here. I'm answerable to you. So anything you want me to, anytime you want me to, to come and talk to you, I'll do so. Um, remember, when when over about ooh, ooh, three seconds, uh, subpoenaed me to come down to Devon. I did that. When Sifsa subpoenaed me twice, I've flown to Devon three times. One, when I was called by, by over about ooh, ooh, three seconds. Twice when sister wanted to talk to me because of I know this is not for me. This is for the people. So what what, what then happened over the years when of course used to do the top ten, it changed in 2012 when I did an application. Then in 2013 I was given a letter by SABC to say they like my concept of combining all radio stations to do an award called the Summer Song. Basing it on the top tens that they're gonna play on the 31st. So every station will have its top 10. Even of course it will have its, its top 10. But every day we want to use one number SMS line to vote, and then all the voters then will be able to, um, to, to, to judge in terms of who will be the overall song of the year, um, which is the Summer Song Award. Now, 
what what happens you take all the votes from Mokozi FM all the votes from Travela from Metro 5 FM put them together and then count which artist dominated all artists and then that's how summer song was done and number two I don't know why is this halabaloo that uh, people are trying to do uh, I don't understand because of th there's two things every radio station plays its top 10 number one at 12 o'clock they play the number one there's no station that is official on Ngomoyonyaga or Sikhoganisunyaga or whatever that they want to call it. There's no station that is official in doing that except the Summer Song because of it's an award. Now, why Summer Song is official? It's because at 12 o'clock, every radio station play its number one. That is why we find that you can't then say because of that song play the Onukos, therefore it's a song of the year. It's not. It's just number one for Onukos because Metro FM has got its own number one. For an example, last year, I'll make an example with my friend, uh, Indian uh, Indian was number one on Onukos, but he was nowhere on Metro FM. So you can't then call Indian a song of the year winner. No, he didn't win a song of the year, number one. Number two, he didn't win any money. Number two, it doesn't have an award. Number three, it doesn't have a car. Because to win, you must collect, you must beat all radio stations in terms of votes. That's exactly what, uh, uh, this is exactly what, what, what uh, uh, um, uh, Mroza did. Mroza defeated everybody else uh, in, 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 in that year. So when we combine votes of Metro FM and everybody, uh, 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 Mroza came as number one. So it is wrong to say that the number one of course is the same of the year. If you're doing that, uh, you know that you still have to look at yourself. We talk, when we talk a song of the year, by the way, we're talking South African song of the year. And when you talk about who causes only 7 million people. South Africa has got 55 million people. So you can't have 7 million people, which is one over eight of the population of the country. And then you call it a song of the year. It cannot be. That is why summer song was born to say this now what we're going to introduce will be called then a song of the year because of it will combine all radio stations in the country so when you take sabc for an example sabc has got 19 radio stations uh, 20 with the um uh, the african station uh, channel africa so when you combine all those radio stations, already you're talking over 60% of South African radio stations, except I'm a community radio station, and not disregarding you guys. I'm a founder member of one of the community radio stations, by the way. Uh, so we're a community radio that was 1995 with Kavzela. And that is a story for another day. Um, the story of Kavzela, the story of AKA, Kenan Forbes, the story of Master KG, the story of Jup Jup, the story of Jamela. Those are the stories that are the story of Lebu Matosa, those are the stories that I'll tell you some other day. People don't know how much I contributed in the success of, 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 of those artists. And uh, I, di I didn't uh, go anywhere to, 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 to claim or shine or anything, but when my book is written, people will be shocked in terms of the contribution that, uh, that, 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 that I have made. So you have to contribute and combine all radio stations in order for you to get something called... Uh, uh, then the the, 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 the the song of the year. So what what what, what happened then is um, when we agreed with SABC to say eventually now we in agreement. It was not taken from the zoo. It was Babum Panza that was acting that year in 2016. He was a station manager of Opposite Fame. And then he was acting now as a head of radio, which means he was a pre representing all radio stations of the CBC. He eventually, from 2013, I mean from 2012, when we proposed, 2013 we got a letter of acceptance. I didn't start in 2013 because I didn't get a sponsor. And then it went to 2014 also, they gave me another letter of intent, the CBC, to say, we want you to start this thing of joy, combining all radio stations and come with the song of the year. I couldn't start, still, because I didn't have a, a sponsor. Now, while I was looking for a sponsor, Ukozi then FM started voting 
And I couldn't stop them because of we already had agreed that the concept is working and people like the concept. So, so then uh, I, I, I didn't have a problem because of oh, SA, it was now my problem. SABC had said, hey, we like what you're doing. Um, then we, you are not starting with it. Okay, we're going to start until you come with the sponsor. Because of, that's what I promised to bring. That I'm going to bring money for artists. I'm going to bring money for the song. Uh, for, 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 I'm going to bring a car. And also I'm going to bring a car for, for, for the listeners. Imagine you win tonight. Tomorrow you're waking up. You're going to the shops. You've got so much pressure. People thought you want something. You know? But when you get there, you've got no money, you've got nothing. You are popular. Everybody knows that you, you are number one, but you've got nothing to show for it. And that is what makes our artists die poor because of our artists are just happy to hear their music playing on radio without them benefiting anything. I don't have one song that plays on radio. But all my, what I'm doing, my songs, which are produced here at home by Michael and Productions, I used as on adverts, I used on dramas, I used on some shows, and you can't believe how much money you can collect as an artist. So don't be happy to hear your music play on radio if it's not going to benefit anything. Let us stop abusing artists. I'm a member of SIFSA. I'm a member of SAMIC, two powerful organizations in the country that are representing music, like PSL and SAFA in football. I'm a member of those because of one, I'm governable. Two, I make sure that the artist's interests are placed ahead of everything because of we can't afford a situation whereby people are dying, uh, artists are dying poor. So that's an element that I brought in opposite FM to say, You've been doing the top 10 now. The top 10 does not make it. Let's make it now a proper award whereby we'll reward artists based on their work for that particular year. But let's also combine with all registrations. Credit to Cause FM started this thing a long time ago. We understand. But we had to improve and bring the commercial side and benefit both the listener and artist. I have listeners of Cause FM, two of them that have got my cast. Two listeners from Okoze FM. And it's the only station that has got two uh, things, uh, two, 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 two cars. And that's what I've done because it's only fair for the listeners to vote and get something. And it's only more than fair for the artists because of Ukozi is surviving because of most of the content that they play is music. Now, when Uga Wumbanza gave me that letter, eventually, in 2015, when I came to him and said, now, Baba, I've got a sponsor. I've got a Kia that will give cars, and then I've got 150,000 that I'll give away. And then he endorsed that. On his capacity, one, as a station manager for Cause FM, two, on his capacity as an acting head of Radio Fan. So, I was emailed, and all radio stations, 18 of them, their station managers and their program managers, were emailed by Mbabumpanza to say, from now on, this is how we're going to run this song of the year. It's going to be called the SABC Summer Song of the Year. It started eventually in 2015. Then in 2016, we entered into a contract with SABC. In that contract, SABC acknowledged exactly the email that Mbabumpanza has, has sent to say, we acknowledge and recognize that this is an intellectual property of Michael Owen Productions. So whether the contract is existing or ended, that song of the year will remain an intellectual property of Michael Owen Productions. Unless, of course, it does not include the listeners. They just wake up and put their top 10. It's exactly what they used to do 40 years ago. Then no one will dispute them. But if they're going to engage the listeners, look at what they've done now. As I'm talking to you, most of you have got a poster that says, contribute in the top 10 for the first time in your lives. They copied that from me. They have never consulted 
listeners or viewers or anything. This is copied from me. Because of people think, sit down and don't think. And when you think for them, and even call them, and even call them and say, let's work together. No, then they start having evil thoughts about you. And you, you have seen through Twitter, through Black Twitter, um, politically, you can see how evil people can turn out to be. And it's happening in South Africa, and we need real prayers, not the Pusheri churches. We need to go back to traditional churches. Where did we go wrong? Because of its evil spirits that I don't know where it comes from. I come and say, let's eat together here. Let, this is beautiful. And you say it's beautiful. But hey, man, later on you change. You say, no, no, no. In actual fact, uh, so it doesn't work like that. Let's work to work. And I don't know how people sleep at night <laughs> with all those types of things. Uh, let's learn to work and honor. If something is good, it's benefiting. Not where now. This is not about Ukose FM. No matter how they talk. Um, it, it, it's not about them. This is not about me either. This is about the artist. This is about the artists. They produce that music. They deserve the money. Imagine if you pocket a million rand and say the artists will never get anything. That is hypocritical. So we must have consciences to say artists are the ones that entertain us. During COVID-19, it was worse. Uh, many people are, are, are blaming me. Uh, just like <laughs> I, I'm the most unfortunate one. People, people are saying... Um, uh, we don't have 2020 because of OM, you stop us in 2019. Hey, I don't know what's going to happen next year because of, as I'm sitting to you now, uh, 10 o'clock this morning, I had a meeting with my lawyers. I've got a new team. Powerful than the one that we won last year. So, we're ready to fight for the artists. You know, but um, there's no need. It's not necessary. Because of, if we say we are all for artists, why then are they stopping me to contribute in making sure that artists win? Number one. Number two, those that are telling you that they will be playing the song of the year on the 31st of December this year, they are just deceiving you. Because when I stopped the song of the year, I didn't just come and on this platform and say I'm going to stop it. It was stopped by the judge in court. It, 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 of course, the FM and SABC had a, a letter, um, an instruction from the court to say, don't play the song. So the court hasn't come back and said, now you can play the song. They are still deceiving you the very same way they did last year. I told them, I said, there will be no song of the year. As early as in June. Actually, 28 March last year, before COVID, in 2019, in 2019, March, I told SABC, let's start talking. They ignored me. This year, when I stopped them, they went on. You can go to Google and find out what they said. They said they're prepared to talk about this matter outside court. As a result, I withdrew the case from the court. Because of they had said they're prepared to talk about this matter outside court. And then I withdrew. Because of many people are saying, why did you withdraw the case? One of those people, is, 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 is one of the reasons why I went through the case was the public because of Babu, Babu three seconds came and said, take this matter out of the court so that we can talk. What ended happening, they didn't talk to me. Who calls the FM management? They've got this mentality that they own that radio station. It's a public station, just to, to remind them. They've got a public mandate, it's run by public. But they don't listen to anyone. I want on the very same platform to say there is an individual at SAPC that is treating SAPC as his own. Today, people are doing, they want him out. <laughs> but when I said it, people thought, no, I was being bitter or hypocritical. I don't have a reason to be bitter. Not even one reason. I don't have time to worry about any individual that does not make a change for me. I do worry about few individuals because of I know if I lose this individual, then... Uh, um, then I might be in trouble. But if you know you don't contribute to me with a cent, don't think I've got any problem to do with you. My first priority is the people that support me, which are the, the people that I'm talking to now, the people that listen to radio, the people that view 
the, the, that view television from my days in, in soccer zone, those are the people that I respect the most. They're number one. Number two, straight days, my family, my wife and the kids. That is in that order. Number three, then it comes my brothers and everybody else then follows. But number one people that I support and that I respect are the people that contribute to my life by viewing when I'm on television, listening when I'm on radio, voting when I'm in a city. Those are the people that matter to me. As a result, that is why, um, as I'm talking to you now, this is the phone ringing. It's one of the journalists. They're calling me. They want to find out what is going on. But I'm sure maybe they might be viewing what I'm talking about live now, uh, which, which is also cool. But I'll be talking to them. Like I told you, Soweto and Sunday World. All the newspapers want to know. It's not my thing. It's your thing. But you are voting because of you love the musicians. If this is not benefiting the musicians, why are you voting? Tell me the reason why are you voting if this money is not going to go to the very artists that you love. You are wasting your money, number one. That is why I'm going to close you. You're going to vote with your money, I'm going to close the song of the year, it's not going to happen. Because you've got no papers. That is why, by the way, even though my mom is colored, my father is a Zulu. So, so I'm a Zulu speaking person. Now, umangabo enu tatimale yako, uyoyla asa. Uguwe. Kwa na mwagutu utanda, inte ngane, utanda, ukuzani. You will never take your money. Enge zikuitu wa ukuzani to vote na, uzo to vote na. Because as I see, because FM does not need that man. They are going to get paid out from the government as we speak. They have been always getting money from the government. Ever since as I see, they are getting money from the government. But if we vote, then we are assisting ama artists. Also, so I am saying to you, don't vote if you love an artist because you will be wasting your money. This thing will end up in tears. But who went? Last year. But you have to put your vote. I have a relationship. I have a relationship. I have a relationship. I can tell you now, if you still going to be naive and do that. We will start this thing once we agree with our artists with benefit. Uh, I'll be meeting to see this again nationally now. I've met with this also Zulu. Um, Umake, no, Howard in Natal, Deben, regarding the, 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 the same thing. Now I'll be meeting the Secretary General of CIPSA National and I'll be meeting the President of CIPSA uh, National to, to also talk about that. I've already met Samit uh, about this match. So I would like to warn you, Uguti, let's not waste our money. If we allow our artists, let's make sure that our contribution goes to benefit an artist. Uh, I will then check if people want to ask me anything um, and see. Um, then I will try and uh, answer. Um, if there's any, there's a lot of questions, but now, uh, yeah, my son is not here to, to help me. And, uh, uh, and there's a lot of people also that want me to confirm them. Um, right. If, uh, if you've got questions, you can ask even after the broadcast, and then I will be able to then uh, answer your, all your questions uh, but all I'm saying um, to all the listeners of Ukos FM I am a listener of Ukos FM as well uh, I grew up listening to Ukos FM uh, I'm still listening to Ukos FM um, I don't have any problem with Ukos FM the station managers of Ukos FM they come and go they, they, I'm not bothered because of they're not going to be there for I've been listening to Ukos FM for what, at least 40 years, because of maybe when I was eight years, I'm 48 years now. When I was eight years, um, already uh, my brothers were listening to Ukos, they listening to soccer. Um, I was already in, in Natal because of, I moved in, to Natal when I was um, uh, six uh, to go to school there because of there were riots in Joburg at the time. Uh, remember, 
1976. I mean, I was born in 1972. So when the riots happened, I was four years. So I started school in 1978. And then I had to be taken to, to, to Natal to start school there. So that's, that's how I, I grew up. I know all the culture. I'm a Zulu. Um, uh, I, and and I, I, I respect um, uh, the station, but I'm not a tribalist. It uh, was a Sotho, Napo Hamba Tripenda, Nabulabula Chagan. I speak at least nine languages. Um, a proud Africans, uh, it, it makes me. So I, I am a.